There are so many kinds of voices in the world that compete with the voice of the Spirit. We have come here to just hear one voice. The adversary tries to smother this voice with a multitude of loud, persistent, persuasive, appealing voices. Murmuring voices that conjure up perceived injustices. Whining voices that abhor challenge and work. Seductive voices offering sensual enticements. Soothing voices that lull us into carnal security. Intellectual voices that profess sophistication and superiority. Proud voices that rely on the arm of flesh. Flattering voices that puff us up with pride. Cynical voices that destroy hope. Entertaining voices that promote pleasure-seeking. Commercial voices that tempt us to spend money for that which is of no worth and our labor for that which cannot satisfy. Delirious voices that spawn the desire for a high. In your generation you will be barraged by multitudes of voices telling you how to live, how to gratify your passions, how to have it all. There will be all sorts of software, interactive computer modems, satellite receivers and communication networks that will suffocate you with information. You will be bombarded with evil and wickedness like no other generation. As I contemplate this prospect, I am reminded of T.S. Eliot's words, Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? In some ways it will be harder to be faithful in your days, perhaps in some ways even more challenging than pulling a handcart across the plains. Search the scriptures, which are the voice of the Lord and the power of God unto salvation. Gain a conviction of the divine calling of the brethren and be willing to follow their counsel. We counsel you to associate with those who can help you maintain your standards rather than tear them down. Listen to and follow the voice of the Spirit. This is an ancient solution, even eternal, and may not be popular in a society that is always looking for something new. This solution requires patience in a world that demands instant gratification. This solution is quiet, peaceful, and subtle. In a world enamored by that which is loud, incessant, fast-paced, garish, and crude, this solution requires you to be contemplative. This solution requires the prophets to put you always in remembrance of these things, that ye may know them and be established in the present truth. You must see with the eye of faith eternal, unseen spiritual verities, while the masses of mankind depend solely on the temporal things which can be known only through the physical senses. Learn to ponder the things of the Spirit and respond to its promptings. Filter out the static generated by Satan. As you become attuned to the Spirit, thine ear shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Hearkening to the voice of the living God will give you peace in this world and eternal life in the world to come.